don't know what's going on. Oh, there's a couple of little things. Everybody's excited that Mushu's back. I can imagine that like almost all the younger players in this game watch so many of this dude's replays. Interesting. Trying to punish. Zephyr in some trouble. Body blocks. And first blood going to be taken by Jackie. Yeah, so they just, a good rotation. It, that's really important because T1 are not stacking anywhere near as much. They're going to lose the farm game unless they do stuff like that. All right. Zephyr, he's going to get found yep. trying to deward and will be killed by Yopaj. Good double jump. 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 Dude, what a fun <laughs> item for Zeus to get. <laughs> Tumblr's Toy Zeus sounds like the dream neutral item. Uh oh. Tim's in some trouble. Zephyr Avatars can't quite bring down Tim's, and instead it's Zephyr that dies. It brought so in the TP. Three. Yeah, they want this tower, and now Cuckoo's in some trouble. Get speared there over to the arena. Falcon Blade will not keep him alive. 4 and 0 oh start. Dude, who's going to be careful now? He, there's, none, there's another arena. He's just going to die to this. And down bottom, they're also taking down Zephyr. So a couple of rotations in. The uh, Warlock ulti is down. And down bottom, Zephyr is also dead. 6 and 0. Oh. They're chasing. And Boom. Keep on looking for more. I mean, this is happening on two fronts right now. They just don't have a place to go. Bristle, like, it's it's hard to play into heroes like Ember. They just, their mobility and their ability to also just get them to the back lines means they just ignore you. Oh, no. And I think Cuckoo might be dead again. Yeah, they move on in. They find oh, him. Broken. Dead. It's like a counter, like, it's it's this kind of counter team fight spell where you need to, like, have your entire oh, team there no. to follow it up. And uh, Gabby needs his entire team right now, and he is not going to find it. They smoked into the triangle trying to find the Terror Blade, and instead, it's Gabby that gets found, and Gabby that's going to be killed. Over to the side, they do find TB, but Jackie, he gets off the Sunder, able to walk away. This is about as tragic as it gets right now. Oh, no. Dude, Cuckoo. Just kidding. Yopash, has he overcommitted? Oh, 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 back. A chance? Good kill. They needed that one. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. they needed that one. The gonna get Gabby? Gabby, it did turn red on, uh, oh no, FBZ. He's about to get speared. Warlock Golem ready to go. Drops down right okay. as the spear goes out as well. Gets pushed out of the arena now. This is looking a little bit better here for Boom. But do they have any type of control? It doesn't quite look like it. FBZ is going to be the one that's left behind. A spear throwing over to Carl, but I have the chase down and the kill. Afterwards, though, Zephyr gets absolutely bodied by the slight in the acorn shot. I feel like popping BKB early is kind of fine. Um, well, there you go. FBZ, he finds Carl. Can they keep him alive? Shadow Ward, not enough for the heal. The toss is going to miss. They find run in with Gabby now, trying desperately to win this fight. They do have Cuckoo right on top of Yopash, but there's nothing to keep him here. Can immediately run it away. The rest of Boom. Oh, Cuckoo dodges the spear, but the bushwhack keeps him from getting anything else done. Do they have Warlock Golem back up in one second? Thought about dropping it there. Gabby's okay, no. still trying Yopash. to stand up in front. Do they have enough? Golem gonna connect onto everybody, but there is no follow-up. There's no damage. They didn't even have enough mana for Fatal Bonds. They oh, lose Gabby. Geez. Cuckoo's about to drop here as well as they run him down on the Razor. 9,000 gold lead. It has not looked close. I mean, all you need there is a stun. You need yeah. any type of control. Um, and it was not what they needed. Oh, Zephyr the barely gets again. out of there. I don't know if but, he's going to live. No. Ten Zero gold to armor. blink. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. He's died <laughs> three <laughs> times <laughs> recently. He's just been so close to this blink for so long. Dyer's Another objective on the map for Boom to go and farm whenever they feel like it. True. All right. Ava, okay. toss, catching the homage. Nothing doing yet. FEZ jumps in. Oh, he finds the Warlock. You got to buy back. You got to fight. You got to do something, but it's not going to happen. Gabby is going to get chased down here. Now he's going to die as well. There is no salvaging this engagement. Four dead. Nobody touched on Boom. Like, I, you know, I, I like the idea with a lot of their drop with the Zeus, but the offlane Razor just gave them a complete void when it came to any kind of teamfight and playmaker. Like, they have a Warlock ultimate, but it feels like they have zero teamfight in this game. 
Oh, drop everything okay. for your okay. Yes. Okay. Well done. <laughs> yes. Goodness, because I do not think they win a fight in the pit without Wall of Ulti. Oh, this no, could go Scotty. really bad. Uh oh, Warlock Ulti not that available. Is Everybody ready with a blink. Away. And they find Gabby costs out the Mars, but keeping them alive for now. BKB Gabby tries to get out of there. Four staff keeping them alive. Carl TPing out. And Gabby will not be able to escape. As no BKB, no problem. Well, more. Bond just has to waddle out of there as well. So they'll finish off Roche. Yeah. Honestly, not a bad. As far as plans go, I think that's probably one of the better ones T1's had there. They, it, I, I like the, you know, the ambition. Like, they're trying to make something happen out of nothing. This game is honestly in a terrible spot. It was super desperate for them. Trying to sneak a Roshan after sniping a kill like that. Knowing that Boom is going to probably just walk into the Roche pit the second Ember respawns. Kind of smart. It doesn't work. It backfires. But, like, they're trying to find that window back into a, a basically a hopeless game. Rather than just sitting back and waiting to lose. You know, playing on their high ground. Um, it's... It's rough the position there, and they're going to keep getting picked off here. But yeah. they're, they're, it shows to me they're still communicating and trying to figure out like a way to win this game, even though they probably can't. Win. Get out for a moment, yeah. Gabby Liveth, and BKB out from Radiance Cuckoo. They force them off the base. Well set up, kind of team fight foundation for Boom, making Ooh. things pretty easy. This is interesting. They catch Gabby there. Have the goal. I'm going to connect onto everybody. The avalanche afterwards. Jackie holding onto his BKB. Still has the Aegis as well. They will not get him. The Sunder comes out at the last second. And then the four staff forward. It was meant to be better, but it didn't end up happening. Tim's will die. But it is a big price to pay for all of those kills onto the T1 course. Yeah. Yoshi, be a little careful. I imagine Tiny may try and snipe him as well. Tiny's still lurking around in these trees, coming in. There we go, Zephyr. Oh, not enough. <laughs> he tried. Jeez. So close. Oh, but Mars. Will guess is wrong too. Ways. Okay, he's out. Well done, Zephyr. <laughs> Take those small wins. Unfortunately, he couldn't quite. He's going for... again. He's looking for Mushi. Yes, he's got him. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. If Mushi was going to go unkilled this game. He's so mad right now. Um, I actually don't think he is. I don't know. He's looking at you, but it's going to Garo with the face. Five to 29. And I mean, Mushi will spot Whitemon there. God, they're just waiting for anybody to step out at all. They're going to get the D ward here as well in a sec. Actually, I thought, I thought that was an interesting matchup mid there for a little while. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I think the Zeus pick can work if... I mean, it's it's the draft of the hole. Like, you can't say, like, yeah. one... I mean, you maybe you can say one hero, the Razor, was not a good pick, but it's picking these, all these heroes together. That's been the biggest issue. Gabby trying to survive through it. Cuckoo, BKB, but still going to be chased down and killed. Have a toss back. Gabby keeps him out. The Warlock Golem, but they already got the Sunder off. Was not timed together perfectly. They jump in with Yopaz still throwing out that slight spam. They bought back on Cuckoo, but he's not careful. He might go down again as well. Trying to hold on here. Or, or, yeah, or I, what's coming? <laughs> the items. They, they can oh, farm yeah. up the, the items, sorry. soon. <laughs> yeah. Boom Esports is coming to your base. They got meta. They got BKB. That's what, it's on Aegis. It's, it's just the, you know, it's just the TB they're waiting for. Meta back up should be another melee rack. Oh, big arena down. Gabby. Still no BKB. They turn. They punch. Oh, my God. Goodness, that did a lot of damage. Silver Edge crit is no joke. Zephyr dies. Yopaz gets himself out of there, and GG is going to be called one last new salty to pad the damage stats. But uh, that's going to be it for game one. Man, they, they talked about in the interview just as long as we don't get outdrafted, but uh, they definitely did. Yeah, I mean, there's there might be some like weird tiebreaker scenario with three losses, right. but. It's it's pretty tough and pretty grim at that point. I think their chances start to get, look really bad. Yeah, and obviously with the ascendancy of Talon, um, it's it's looked much and much like that's the way this series and this season would go. But right now they find themselves an opening onto Gabby has be skilled and nowhere else to go. Sick charge is barely keeping himself alive. Gabby, oh wait, what? Okay, he had the rage. A guy like FBZ who's just so good in this hero and a team like Boom who are so good at playing around these team fighting offlaners, uh, you know, they're going to find a lot of success. Jackie 
Tries to jump away, but two points up in Gale. Yeah. Maybe going to go for a deny here on Mushi. Nice. Does he get it? He's going to leave him. No. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Right. Mushi, in the meantime, is going to get chased down here. They had that ward just now expiring and will find him. Spose back. Mushi going to die. And that is the earn charge as well. So now a third tick of DOT coming in for Cuckoo. He's Some been trouble. caught out alone, yeah. And no way out of that. Fairy Fire tries to walk away, getting over towards Zephyr. The He's slowdown the is beat. there and has help. an urn afterwards. Jackie turning. Cuckoo, oh, he gets a south broken. The vision in the area. Carl right on top of Mushi going in for the final touch. Does he have enough for the kill? Tries to fog it out. Manages to get away, and that's going to be an urn charge picked up as well. But in the end, the boat coming out might be enough to take down Zephyr. Tim's chased a little bit further by Carl. Jackie lived through it all. So it ends up being support for support. Cuckoo's staying alive in the bottom lane, man. He's got to finish his treads. He's leveling up the Plague Wards now, so not going all in. And they're finding kills in mid. Dive on Tim's easy snipe there. Nice. There's just so much activity available to T1 when you've got this Marcy plus Amber who both had this good start. Just completely different draft to game one. They can actually make plays here. And Cuckoo, unfortunately, it's going to be the one that gets jumped on now by Boom. So they'll make a play on that Venomancer. Like you said, these rotations are key to shutting down. Well, Cuckoo now has his ulti available. Is going to start dropping down these Plague Wards and hoping to catch somebody. They do connect with the scan. Ember and Warlock right behind with three points and Fatal Bonds. They're going to send in Zephyr to start. Dispose afterwards. Big goal of oh, drop down. And then the combo coming out afterwards with the boat. But will it be enough? They still have to be careful. Venno has ulti available. FBZ going to find Cuckoo. Connects onto both of them. Tims steals the Gale. Cuckoo will drop. But Gabby looking for the run now down on FBZ. This is looking pretty solid for T1 after losing a couple of heroes. They're going to take down three themselves. There's a life sealer. Can do all these sustained damage through them. They come T1. They find one. Jackie afterwards has enrage. Ready to go. Do they chase for any more? Golem down and rage immediately out. And looking for the follow if they get the kill. Cuckoo's still coming in afterwards. They're all fatal bonds to creep wave. MPZ shows up, but Zephyr gets saved by the infest at the last second. But the both follow up Yo Punch with the double kill. Oh, he's feeling himself a little bit there as they take down the carry. So two for three again. We do see now with the blink dagger ready. Arcane on remember. FBZ. Ah, they gotta be careful though. They don't know about the rest of these heroes. Mushi found right at the start. Yopaj gonna be slowed down by the gill. Gabby moves in. Winter's Curse still ready, looking for an opening, but it's not there. And Tim's just has to get the hell out of there. Yeah. Carl, he's rotated now back to the mid lane. Once Jack here also to fight over this rune. And Carl's not nice gets catch it. there. Okay. Oh man, Arena down. Well played. And I don't think that the rest of T1 can chase this. Yeah. Big kill. FBZ. <laughs> what a, yeah, what a fight. I don't know how Carl managed to pick up that rune right in front of the Ursa there, but either way, it meant that he got speared onto it. It was almost like a little bait from FBZ to give him the rune, but line up the perfect spear. Is it going mid? No BKB, he used it top. That has to be careful. They already have the spirit vessel. Zephyr, the turnaround. The boat is there, though. That stops the action. Although, Yo is ticking. still burning down. I think he still dies to this. Getting very low as the run buff is going to wear off. No, not enough. All right, wow. Cuckoo. Underneath, they get the wards. Cuckoo goes to Gale and immediately will be brought down afterwards. So, good spirit. FBZ has been hitting amazing spears and arenas, keeping Boom in this game. And now moving in to take the tower. FBZ looking for the back line, finds it, jumps for Zephyr. White Mon, no ulti, so they don't need to deal with the Warlock at all. In the meantime, though, trying to TP out with Mushi, he does manage to escape. No way to break it. As Carl not going to connect with those chains onto TPing out Hero, but Maybe finds Yopaj here, actually. Has to force to pop the BKB himself. Just try and get out of there. Boat down afterwards. Does have Enrage, or rather Rage, but won't use it. So yeah, boom, another BKB. tower. Very much one of these kind of standoffish games where both teams are going to be like battling over vision. 
Really trying to control Ooh. the roach area. Catch. Right at the start, they got him. Can't get Where's inside with Zephyr for this post, but he gets the BKB. Winner's Curse afterwards, but no damage. No Great damage. ward in the area. But boom, they have to be careful. They're all fatal bonded together. Boat is going to go out now. So the slow continues. Ooh. Yopaj finds the kill on Marcy. Clean as can be. And yeah, Lifesteal has gone for this Maelstrom to give him some farming ability, but he hasn't been able to keep up with the Ursa, who's now almost 2,000 gold ahead of him. So despite Lifesteal having the much better start, it has not stayed that way. Mm. Lift mid. Tim's lift into Spear Arena down. Gabby tries to get out, has the Infest, but it won't matter. Neighborhood, but that's not even the case. So free Roche and for Boom. Boom playing really good here. Smoke up. Boom. Looking for an opening. Yopaj, he's going to run right past Gabby here. They see Gabby. Uh, it started the same way before. The telekinesis from downtown. They miss, but they find the Hex. Warlock gold. Gabby tries to get out. He gets not away. Oh, no. And stole it. Stolen. Oh, Tims. Tims, why'd you have to do it to him like that? Oh, T1. They didn't stand a chance. Oh, right into the meat grinder. They just got shredded there. Holy moly, that was just brutal. As, like, they just get eaten alive. They go in on, like, going on the life steal. Yikes. T1. They, I mean, part of it is just the, the really good draft that Boom's put together, and they've been playing so solidly, and now gonna head on up, take yep. down the entire mid racks, looking to take the tier three top as well. Under just held them in place and this time he pulled lifestealer towards them so they won't i don't think they'll make oh, that mistake again. again not again not again not like this they did oh, it again, again? It, what? it doesn't matter <laughs> they still got him oh, wait hold on winter's curse though a little bit of That's a mix up gabby. there oh gabby okay. still just drops white mon in trouble the golem is coming Rubik. it cometh upon all of ye t1 they all dropped him stealing every ultimate in the game pretty much right now as four are dead again, they did lose the Ursa. Yeah, they just don't have the damage to kill Roach quick enough. These heroes are probably going to respawn. They want to try and force a fight before they respawn, but what a curse. The winner's curse right on top. They move on in, going to infest, keep them alive. Marcy okay. down low, second round of the refresher. They get the ulti off from Tim's. Now the golem dropped down from White Mod. Cuckoo low, Cuckoo going to die. That just means FBZ gets a double arena on absolutely everybody. And you buy enough time for Ursa to respawn. He comes in, he gets some cleanup action. It... And wow. Timeless Relic even coming out. Oh boy. Yeah, that's, I mean, Ags would be cool too, but this this will work. Uh, Mushi scouts out. It's an arcane rune on that top side. Boom, ready to go. Start building the little collection of Venno wards. <gasps> And a battle. Wait a minute. Jumps in, finds one yeah. golem afterwards. Do they have enough? Yopaj, FBZ right on top of Carl, trying to kill him off. The stun is there, more than enough for the finish. As they won't lose anybody but Mushi, who buys back and now is ready to go for another round of it. Zephyr disposed, but they got him. Tim's right on top. And there for the finish. Yeah, Kunkka just pops his refresher for the double hex. Just to make sure they kill the Ember there. He had the Arcane Rune too, so his Refresher's not even got that long of a cooldown. And they find him again. Gabby, although another Spear mix-up with the Telekinesis. Ulti right on top. Boat gonna land afterwards and no Enrage, nowhere to go. Zephyr tried to dispose. It wasn't meant to be. As they move in for another kill. Pull back in the Warlock. He's gonna be hexed as well. Nowhere left to go as Boom are going to take this series 2-0 over T1. GG calls. Very convincing, Lyrical, I gotta say. Boom, like game one, like much better draft. They just completely crushed them. This game, you know, I think Boom's draft we saw as it went on. Like